Some little children were asked once, what is love? And one of them said, it's when you bat your eyelashes a lot and little stars come out of you. But what happens when you put on the white dress and you expect the happy ending and he doesn't show up at the altar? Well, we decided to track down some of these formerly jilted brides to see how long it takes to recover after suffering. This is what happened. It was very shocking. I felt like someone really just kind of punched me and I just lost all feeling. That morning, her groom had told her that his feet felt like jelly, but promised he'd see her later. He'd be there at the altar. Next, the 27-year-old is standing outside the church when the best man arrives to say, the groom has fled to London. The wedding is off. He'll be in touch. Oh, you did not call earlier today. In an instant, a bride is shattered, her family outraged. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? You're going to make an announcement. What do you want me to tell people? It's Nicole's brother who makes the announcement to the wedding guests. The wedding will not be taking place. So please, as our guests, accompany us to the Essex House for a few hours. We're going to have the band play. We're going to take pictures of our loved ones and our friends. And we are going to celebrate the coming out of Nicole, as it were. But then, Nicole does something unexpected. Changes into a party dress and joins her family and friends on the dance floor. Within two years of that awful night, our first bride, Nicole, found a new love. And this time, a real wedding. Her husband is Dr. George Liakas. They share a business, a medical spa, and have two beautiful little girls. If you ask me how do I feel about the fact that Nicole was left at the altar, I think it was the best thing that could ever happen to me. My real life was always supposed to be with George, and God had something much better waiting for me, and that's George, and, and then at the end, I found my prince. <laughs>